quite often. But today, let's take you behind the scenes of a boutique manufacturer that's really making quite a name for himself. Here's Tim Sheridan with more. According to Robin Yunan, making bats is a bit like making runs. It takes practice, patience and commitment. So it's a passion. That, that's probably one word that you could use that would, would sort of be the word to use. That would be the perfect word, is passion. That's what made me um, stay in this job for such a long time. This is Impala Bats. Small, independent and all Australian. Making about 3,000 blades a year. Becoming known, but not necessarily acknowledged, as bat usage among top players can be a murky subject. When the top grade players and the, the state players wanting to use your bat, even though they're sponsored by another company, and still use my bat with stickers on it, with their own uh, sponsored logo stickers, uh, that's, that's when I knew that actually um, I'm starting to make a decent bat. And how long ago was that? I'd say no more than four years ago. For the initial shaping, Rob has modified a furniture making lathe to copy an aluminium mould of his handmade bat. I mean, so this looks like a non-human process, but the human process went oh, in there, That's didn't where the work it? is, that's, that's yeah, of is. course. Yeah. I mean, the, the labour part of the cricket bat making, I've taken most of it out mm. by actually, uh, with, with Peter helping me design the mould and the lathe to actually copy what I've thought about. Rob used to be in the menswear business and as a Sydney grade cricketer was constantly tinkering with bat design. He joined Impala and 15 years later owns the company. He spent at least a decade perfecting his designs. So what I can do now, I can actually show you how we press them. So I cut them to the length that I need. I'll show you how I'm going to press them. There's a reason Rob presses every single Impala bat. This is the most important bit. Most bed. important part of the cookie bat, I believe. The next step is Rob's fail-safe method of cutting the splice. It's taken years to get it right. And then a handle is chosen and glued in. 48 hours later, the final trimming and shaping. Rob's workshop is a contrast with the place where a large percentage of the world's bats are made. Competing with Indian bats on price is hard but made a bit easier by the Indians themselves. They've woken up to the fact that everybody's going to India to get bats made, so they've actually upped all their prices. It's been very good for me because then our prices are very competitive. The last few touches are the grip, the branding and the stickering. Impala bats are aggressively named and hard to miss. But as Rob says, looks aren't everything. They actually feel a lot lighter as, as feel than their dead weight. Uh, and people buy the bats on, on feel, on balance. Uh, that's, what, that's where the point of difference is. Yeah, the manufacturer of a cricket bat.